What's going on, y'all? Crow back here, back in the back room of Crow's kitchen. And uh, we got ourselves an alcohol review. And that is Youngling Traditional Lager, which is an original amber beer. <clears throat> DG Youngling and Son Incorporated, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. 12 ounces, America's oldest brewery since 1829. So it's approaching 200 years. It's got like, what, nine years more to go? Wait, nine plus uh, two more, 11 more years to go. I wonder if they're gonna change up anything for the 200 year mark. Make a, <clears throat> a uh, fancy bottle for the 200 year anniversary. But anyway, <clears throat> I meant to bring the 12 pack, but I always forget. Um, I've had a few younglings so far. I know I've done the black and tan. I don't know if I did a review on it or not on YouTube. Um, I feel like I had a youngling original or just a regular lager or something, but I don't know if that was the same exact one as this because I don't remember ever seeing original amber beer with the traditional lager on the front. So <clears throat> I don't know how many variants Youngling has. If you know, please let me know down below in the comments. I very much appreciate it. Shout, shout out to Zach, you know, he gives me a lot of information. Uh, hope you're still watching, bro, but you know, uh, he'll, he'll take time out of his day and tell me things about what I'm reviewing that I didn't even know. So, um, you know, I appreciate, I appreciate that every time. I think I'm still at 264 subscribers. So I thank each and every one of y'all for subscribing. Um, <clears throat> like, let me know if I'm doing you know, the reviews you like. Do you like dip reviews? Do you like alcohol reviews? What do you want to see next? Do you have any recommendations? You know, I'm always uh, looking for, you know, my viewers to help with the videos. Um, with me doing all the work, of course, but you can give me something, some uh, suggestions, some thoughts. Anyway, with this youngling lager, let's get into the review. The taste, I mean, so far, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start skipping the smell because who cares about the smell of a beer? You, I mean, you're not really gonna smell a beer unless if you spill it. You know what I mean? But yeah, with the youngling though, I know that I say some beers are heavy and thick and bubbly and they weigh you down, make you feel full real quick. I like youngling because it's a it's a traditional lager as it, as it's stated but it uh isn't heavy I, I feel like i could drink six of them and still you know go play some basketball or something but uh yeah it's a it's a mid-ranger it doesn't taste like a light like you know it's not a light but it's not heavy as hell weighing you down either so <clears throat> also with the the alcohol per volume uh, or alcohol by volume, however you want to say it. I don't know what it is, but with younglings, you got to guess like four to five percent. You know, it's not it's not going to be a, a high horse kicker, a kick in the horse. I don't, I don't know how you say that or what you what you want to call it. A kick in the donkey. <clears throat> but yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. There goes my uh, commercials, probably. Anyway. Youngling. Traditional lager. Original amber beer. The price. Uh, this was also like a mid-ranger. It's not, it's not too expensive. But it's definitely not the cheapest. For a 12 pack, I think it was 14, 15 bucks. So, you know, it's not too bad. Dollar something a beer. 
but <clears throat> it's definitely worth the money if you're buying a 12 pack of Youngling. And, like, man, I could drink the whole 12 pack in one night if I had the time and the, uh, you know, the willpower. Because these things are so good. Overall, Youngling, I mean, I gotta give it a 9 out of 10. It doesn't get the full 10 because I do have beers that I like enjoy more but yeah youngling is definitely like in my top five favorite beers no matter what youngling it is I mean all their beers are great if you haven't ever tried youngling please do so if you're over 21 drink responsibly and uh, come hang out with the crow again sometime with another alcohol review you know happy new year um, you know, shout out to Berg's Dip Reviews. Shout out to the Dip Man Copenhagen. You know, he, he's uh, very enthusiastic about his Falcons, who just kicked the Panthers' ass. You know, I'll give it to him, but I think the Panthers were kind of taking it easy because they were already 11-4. But uh, I'm going to leave it at that. So, 9 out of 10, Youngling. Try it if you, uh, if you can find it. We'll see you in the next one. Crow out. Ah!